in the great words of the wise, Brett, I don't even know how to say his last name. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> what is going on, everyone? Chris with Journos Comics and Pop Culture. And today we're looking at not just a Facebook post, but big shout out to this individual here, uh, Mr. Brett. Thank you for posting these screenshots of the sales of this what if Iron Man demon in an armor number one. The madness is real, folks. And I'm going to keep talking about it. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please take some time to do so. Check out all the links in the description below as well. Uh, obviously, I want to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments below on this. Um, I've talked on this matter recently. This is what you want to call FOMO. It's out of control. We know Robert Downey Jr. is going to be playing Doom in some capacity. And books are out of control. So what we're looking at today are these what-if books where uh, he does show right here. This is a sale that happened back in May for $9.98 or best offer was accepted. I don't know. No, it, it would have a slash through it if it was the best offer. So it sold for under 10 bucks. I looked at numbers. I mean, this book was clearly a book that was well under a $10 book. And now it is selling for 100 bucks, 145 150 130 dollars and then if we scroll down a little more 200 dollar raw book for a book that just last week you can get for just a few dollars i'm going to read some comments everyone i'm going to read some comments i know i'm making a video on this but it's almost like why even at this point because i keep repeating myself and I want to know, please, guys, I don't, I, I want to know if you purchase this book and you're watching this video, please comment. I promise I, I'm not a bully. Now, I speak my mind and I'm blunt and I'm honest and I'm, and, and I'm not going to sugarcoat anything, but I'm not going to bully you. But I will say this. This is idiocy. It's idiocy. It is purely Stupid. And that's my humble opinion. This book, again, in my humble opinion, if, if I am wrong, I am wrong. Come back to me and I will apologize and, and make amends and own up to it. Even if this storyline is what plays out in the MCU, there is absolutely no way that the value that this book is selling for right now is going to hold whatsoever. Now, I know why people are selling it because they pay pennies and they're laughing all the way to the bank. But why are you buying this book? Why? I mean, do you really think that you're going to spend this much money because it's going to keep going up in value just because it might correlate to a movie. Do you honestly believe that? And if so, why? Why? Did a YouTuber tell you so? Did a comic book speculation Facebook group tell you so? Or did you just figure that out yourself and that's how you think it all works? I, I really, these aren't rhetorical questions. I really want to understand why. Or are all the people buying this like making six figures and uh, they just want to like, it's like a donation. Well, I, was, I know this book is only worth seven, eight dollars, but I'm going to pay 150 for it. Help this help this seller out today. I got money laying around. Money's flying. <laughs> I just don't know anymore. Let's look at some comments. Chris here says, still makes no sense. It's going to be a movie. The comic book is worth more now. I don't know why people do it. Chris, great name. I'm with you. I don't know why people do it either. Uh, here we go. Bills, bills, money, 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 money. When you guys hear that, that's me like spreading the bills. You guys can hear that. One bill, two bill, two bill, three bill, four bill. 
<laughs> All the smart sellers are selling it for higher. Bunch of idiots are paying that higher. Now, I'll say it's idiocy, and I say it's stupid, but I'll refrain from actually calling somebody a name. Uh, are paying higher to get that book now. This is this is the reasons why smart, rich people uh, are keep getting a little bad grammar here, but I see what, it, what, what he's saying. I, I don't know if English is this individual's first language. Uh, that's why smart, rich people continue to get richer, and poor people are staying at the same levels. Honestly, I, I I don't I wouldn't say it's about rich or poor, because who's to say that the people short selling and flipping this book are like rich? I mean, obviously, they're playing the market and they're making money. And who's to say that people blowing this money aren't you know wealthy or well off? But it just does goes to show that people don't know how to manage their money, and they don't know how to make smart purchasing decisions. I'll I'll say that much. Bozos, go ahead and keep buying these books while I sit here and buy Golden Age. Thank you. Again, I'm not going to call anybody. First off, the, the, the term bozo is like so 1950s. And anybody that uses the term bozo is a bozo. <laughs> yeah, I know. I guess that makes me a bozo because I just used it too. Just ridiculous term. I'm not going to call people's names, but this individual and tarot makes sense. I mean, like I said this in the last video that I talked about. What's going on with these books on the market? There are Silver Age Doom books that you can buy in like mid-grade, lower mid-grade for $200, $150, or even $100 that will almost indefinitely appreciate in value, short-term and long-term, but you're out here spending this type of money on a book that was in the dollar bins a week ago. So I've been bamboozled. Lee says, I'll get a copy when it cools off. Lots of stupid people buying books. Good for the quick flippers, but people can't actually think this book will be going up. I'm investing. <laughs> you are about a week late on this spec and price increases. <laughs> with this I, I love this image of tony though by the way fomo sheep again i'll use the term fomo sheep personal names again i just i, I don't go there i uh, i absolutely hate how modern comics have more than the three covers it's ridiculous well owen uh not really relevant but uh thanks for sharing your hate <laughs> denny says who in their right mind is paying that much for this book FOMO is up. Yeah. I want to know too. Leave your, leave it below. You know, no, no love lost. It's all good. Adam says, Dino. Dino? It's a hell of a drug. Maybe more addicting than heroin and crack combined. Remember, it, I think, again, some grammar here. It's easy. Pink. Ping, it's easy, but it sure is fun. So make the money where you can with, yeah, I, I don't know. But I mean, I like what this individual was saying about like, this is a drug that's more addictive than, than heroin and crack. I agree. And Jamie down here says absolute insanity. It, it literally, like literally guys, this is, when you look at it from a psychological standpoint, or even like socio-cultural standpoint, like this is insanity. It is. It's insanity and there's no logic around it anymore. There's not. My guess for what it's worth, we'll see RDJ called Victor Von Doom. We'll have all the history of Victor Von Doom, but the face of Tony Stark, which will be the big twist uh that doesn't even make sense nick i'm sorry <laughs> like how do you explain that he has a face of tony but anyways i'm not getting into all that this is just like wolverine 88 and 55 but worse glad i moved each of those at 100 a pop when deadpool vs wolverine was announced I, I i disagree this isn't um like wolverine 88 i mean wolverine 88 is a key you have two you know i would say modern characters obviously wolverine uh bronze age deadpool technically at the end of copper age but 
when I say modern, I mean people that are like my age and a little bit older. People that were born in the in the 70s and 80s really grew up with Wolverine and Deadpool. I mean, these are like iconic characters uh, of their generation, like when they were in their prime of collecting. The appearance of them meeting for the first time, that is a key comic. This book is not a key comic. What if uh, Victor Von Doom like takes over the body of Tony Stark? It's not a key comic. People are just going crazy over it because they think this might happen in a movie. It's not a key. This and no, the only thing that makes this a key, if you want to, you know, and I talked about this, like key doesn't necessarily equate to value. It just equates to, okay, is there a key purpose of this book? It's a number one. I mean, it's a number one. <sighs> Barry says, same morons who bought Taskmaster, Black Widow, Falcon is Cap. Young Avengers, Eternal, White Vision, all down 70%. Now, I don't know if they're down 70%. I know a lot of those are down a lot. But Barry, first off, I'm not going to call anyone morons, but it's it's really not the same thing. Because what did I just say? Those are first appearances. I guess you could say, well, this is the first appearance of Victor Von Doom in Tony Stark's body. Now we're just kind of distorting even further what a first appearance is and we already know that's full of drama <laughs> nice the hobby is strong and well oh my gosh you guys get the point um this is just crazy i do I, i'm gonna read this i think this is gonna be the last one i read guys i hope everyone does realize that's pure speculation we don't know if he's going to be infamous iron man now, what Jonathan's saying here is what's pure speculation. He's talking about what we think is going to happen in the movie, not books. It's We're speculating that either, especially, well, this isn't infamous. This is the what if. We're, people are buying this book because they're speculating that in the movie, Victor Von Doom might take over the body of a variant Tony Stark, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we don't know if he's going to be infamous Iron Man. He could just be... Recast as a different character entirely, having no connection to his past role. I have a feeling this book will tank back to normal after the movie comes out. Jonathan, you're absolutely right that it will. And I stand on that. I stand on that. So, uh, let's go back up and just look at this picture again. It's like, again, folks, there, there's, I could keep beating a dead horse. Keep beating a dead horse here. Why are you doing this why there is no logical sound sense there was more sense three four years ago in the beginning of covid because i get it i get it man i, I get it but we see we have seen it played out it's like I understand when you see a hot stove and it's like red, you know, maybe it's one of those, maybe it's a glass stove or maybe it's, I forget what they're called, con con conductor stove, or maybe it's a gas stove and you have the actual flame, but the flame's red or the stove's red and, oh, oh, I like red and orangey red, like, oh, I want to touch it. All right, I get it. I get it. Like, I'm not going to be mad at you for, for touching it the first time. It's like, oh my gosh, like, I, you know, I'm... I'm it's appealing. It's appealing. But damn, does it hurt once you touch it. Now, if, if you do that and you're left with blisters all over your hand, second degree burns. Why the hell are you going to go touch the stove again? It makes no sense. Not only are you touching it again, but now you're putting two hands on it. It drives me, it doesn't drive me nuts, honestly, because I really don't care about it. And I'm just making this video for content. <laughs> but no, I, I I do care about like, I do care about wanting to know why. And if there's any brave soul that is willing to share your thoughts in the comments, if you are continuing to buy books like this and FOMO out when something, you think something's going to happen in a movie or a, a TV show, please let me know why you're doing this. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you doing this to yourself? It is pure insanity. It is addiction. 
It is, and I've talked about this before. It's and it's something. It speaks a lot about the cultural norms right now in society, and it, it's scary. You know, a lot of people don't won't even acknowledge this. You know, we just we, you know we wake up, we clock into our jobs, clock out, barbecue, cook. You know, love our wife, love our kids, go to baseball games, go to the movies, take a vacation, and we do it over again. Collect our combo books, and and we don't want to even think on a on a on a deeper level of why we accept things in society. I'm telling you right now, this is this isn't this is bigger than comic books. This is a socio cultural issue that is plaguing human beings and plaguing society, and it's only going to get worse. With that being said, that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please, please do. And, and of course, guys, you know, if you're not subscribed, please help out the channel. Battling the algorithms right now because I stayed away for a while, but but I'm back. And any support from you guys, just being here, watching, commenting, liking, thumbs up, thumbs down if you don't like it. Subscribing, notifications, sharing, all that stuff. I appreciate you all. Be well. And until next time.